in the bass, D and A. And now it's a little bit difficult, you have to finger the G on the 5th fret of the 6th string. And now open D. C in the bass. Okay, once again, very slowly. beginning it's D open D string open D string second fret G string third fret B string yes. uh, you can play as an interlude you can play scales also it sounds always good but I, I, I take this I play so from the theme is one, oct one octave higher. This was the interlude. A short interlude. And now one octave higher. D minor. C. D minor. C. And now a difficult chord. G minor, 3rd fret barre, 2nd finger on the G. And now, look. It's easier than to play here. Because the jump is difficult. It's, it's difficult. I prefer to play it this way. First finger, fifth fret, first string, sixth fret, second string, and third, no, seventh fret, third string. D minor. The next chord is B flat major, but with D bass. D minor. Now there's a difficult change. You have to fret the F major chord with this voicing. Third fret, F. This is a not so unusual uh, voicing for the F major chord. Okay, the chords once again D minor, B flat with D bass. And now C, but you have to put your little finger here on the G, third fret. Yeah, once again, D minor, F, D minor, usual voicing, G minor, C. And the bass you can you can make him march. Yeah. Yes. And, and play the chord progression with his bass. To, to finish the piece, I play a passage similar 
from the beginning the octaves you know octave open A string perhaps I, I, I will tell you the fret open second With the piece, I, I'm sorry. I do not. I didn't write it down. I do not have any tabs or, or scores or so. Um, but I think with this video, it's more easy for for you if you like uh, to play it. Okay, have fun. Ciao.